originally from Orange County, made the 45 minute drive up here to live the LA dream. And um, <laughs> it was really difficult growing up poor in Orange County. Okay, it wasn't so much that it was poor, I was just mentally conditioned by my mother to think I was poor. Cause you should have seen how she reacted when I tried to buy something we didn't have a coupon for. I was like, mom, can we get this cereal? And she'd be like, okay, I'll put it in the cart, we'll, we'll find a way. <laughs> we'll find a way, great, now I have to dream up the indecent proposal scenario you have to get yourself into, into to get me cereal. Like, I'm just imagining, Mr. Rosenbaum, what are you proposing? I'm a married woman. But my daughter does have an expensive taste in cereal and I don't think it'll stop at one box. <laughs> I just have to wake up and just be like, no, I'll eat cereal out of a bag. <laughs> but, um, so my mom, she's, she's great. She helps me out a lot. She got me a book, a lovely book, Small Miracles, Tales to Warm the Jewish Heart. Over half these miracles are just about women over 35 getting married. There's hope yet. It just like, Donna was a career-driven businesswoman who didn't even go on J-Date. Michael was a wealthy doctor who walked up to her and proposed, miracles do happen. I was asked to do a bit of my stand-up comedy for my synagogue as a fundraiser. What, didn't, what they didn't tell me I was the opening act for because what synagogue fundraiser would be complete without Helen and Rosalie Wattenberg, the resident Holocaust survivors. <laughs> Great way to make my cereal bit seem real. You know, me complaining about not getting enough cereal as a kid, then to put me up before two Holocaust survivors. It's interesting, when the synagogue works as a unit, they can, they can do the work of 10 Jewish mothers in, in fraction of the time. Just, Topple the guilt on all at once. So um, I work at a gym, and uh, I'm always walking around and like collecting the magazines, you know, uh, you know, like in touch, people, style, all that. And uh, they always have a section in these magazines. Do you guys know the section? The they're just like us section. Do you guys know that? The celebrities are just like us. They drink star coffee from Starbucks like you might. They push their groceries in their grocery cart, just like you might do. I wanna see that section with things I actually do. Then I would like that section. I wanna see, they're just like us. They attach their curtains to the wall with push pins because they don't wanna put up a curtain rod, <laughs> just like us. They go to the soup plantation with an empty bag for baked potatoes because they take the phrase all you can eat literally, just like us. So um, holidays are coming up, and um, I, yeah, I, I uh, greeting cards, okay, greeting cards are hard to purchase for someone you're dating, right, because they're really permanent, and I don't like commitment, so they're always like, Merry Christmas, this year and forevermore, <laughs> chestnuts roasting on the eternal flame of our romance. I always end up having to get a blank one because there's no card that says, hey you, Merry Christmas. Would have loved to meet your family this year, but that thing came up. Call me at New Year's. <laughs> um, so uh, does anyone listen to Pandora? We all listen to Pandora, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, my favorite channel on my Pandora station is 90s dance hits. So uh, the thing is, is that I've noticed a trend in these songs. There's a man, quite frightening, that appears in multiple songs. It doesn't matter who the artist was, like different songs, this guy will show up. Like, I don't know if you remember this guy, but it'll be like, another night, another dream, but always you. And then this guy comes on, I talk, I talk, I talk to you in the night, in my dream of love so true. <laughs> Like, I just imagine the recording, like, did he just walk in? He's armed. Okay, he's on the track. Great. <laughs> Super. Let's keep going. Um, but, but the worst lyric that this guy sings, this is 100% true if you go back and, like, look up the lyrics or whatever, um, is in the song Rhythm is a Dancer. He has this line. I'm serious as cancer. 
Rhythm is a dancer. <laughs> I don't think you can be as serious as cancer about anything dancing related. Like, the most you could possibly do, like, the only line that might possibly work is, I'm serious as cancer. You have AIDS. <laughs> that works. Yeah, that works. Um, so I, uh, I don't have money. Uh, so, uh, I, I shop at a place called Buffalo Exchange. Familiar, yes. So basically, what I, it's a buy-sell trade place. So what I thought it was is you bring in a bag of your stuff, you sell a few things, you make a few dollars. What really happens is uh, I bring in a bag of my stuff and uh, get judged for six minutes. So that's awesome. Cause the woman has to like tell me why she doesn't want my stuff. She's just like looking, she's just like, and Old Navy, okay, we're done here. I'm just gonna, we can either donate or burn these, but thank you, feel free to browse. Feel free to browse, you're great. Um, so as I said, uh, I, I work out at a gym. Uh, and and uh, so I have membership all over the country. I won't say what gym I work at, but we never close. So, um, okay. But so um, I decided to take a cardio kickboxing class uh, in my hometown of Orange County on a weekday at 9 a.m., which is different than the cardio kickboxing classes I take because cardio kickboxing at 9 a.m. in Orange County on a weekday, that's mommy support. Okay, that's mommy time. So this is a, you know this is normally how how it, how it goes if you've never been to a class like this. I'm gonna give you the experience. Okay, so the the teacher always comes in late. She's, she's all right. Let's get ready, guys. All right, let's get it. Okay, all right. Oh, I'm so so sorry to be late. Mason wouldn't get out of bed again. I just couldn't get him to school. Uppercut, uppercut, <laughs> block. Oh my God, I know. Who's at Oak Park Elementary? Who's got kids over at Oak Park? They have early day all week for teacher conferences. Oh my God, three extra hours with those guys? Uppercut, uppercut, fire throw, block. Oh, good job guys, great form ladies. Brenda, doing a good job. So who here, who here doesn't have kids? Oh, I knew it, look at you, you tight young thing. You didn't get married out of college. Oh, uppercut, uppercut, fire throw, block. Roundhouse. 